Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you the story about my RX100 and how I got it for free. Um, this bike was always in the family, it belonged to my cousin brother. Uh, basically my father's sister's second son, so they have three sons and this bike belonged to uh, my uh, brother who is uh, the second son of my uh, aunt so uh, before i go deep into the story i would request you to subscribe if you have already subscribed to the video um, and this would really help us to grow the channel and if you like similar contents do uh, click on the bell notification as well so that you come to know about it first before anybody else so yeah so I'm going to tell you guys uh, my RX100 story. So I was young and was in a boarding school and I used to visit my aunt's place where she used to stay, uh, you know, where this bike was uh, gleaming in red. It was red color. Uh, I was too short back then and my legs barely used to touch the ground when I used to sit on her. I was in my seventh grade when one day uh, the miracle finally happened and my feet finally touched the ground. So I used to roll um, her around the property and always think that one day I will ride her. Um, like I said, she belonged to uh, my cousin brother who has taken her virtually across the India with him whenever he used to get transferred. I rode her for the first time um, alone in 97 when the bike came to Delhi. But uh, before that I had uh, once uh, ridden wherein my brother has just given me the handle control that was back in um, when I was a kid. So when I rode this for the first time myself, it actually took my breath away. So I took her to the school one day and I, uh, after that I never saw her, you know, ever since. So on a November, um, you know, 2010 or 9, I believe, uh, my aunt actually passed away. So she was actually suffering from long time ailments and finally um, she lost her battle. And... There is where I met my cousin who now works in Qatar. His wife and son basically stay near, used to stay near my house in Trivandrum. And, you know, they invited us over and I went to their place. And when I saw my 18 year old crush, my heart sunk at the moment. She was covered in dust and cobwebs. Uh, I asked my cousin what his plan was for the bike and he said he is going to sell it for scrap um, as soon as he moves into his newly constructed home which was being constructed at that time so i mustered some courage and i asked him uh, if i could buy this from him so <laughs> my cousin's wife came as an angel that day she basically just jumped and said yes please take the junk out of the house i don't want this sitting in my car push so that was it i waited uh, and then finally uh, one day i took one of my friend and got her home and all we did is uh, take the spark plug out pump the crank and finally started the bike and guess what uh, the bike actually sputtered in life you know which hasn't moved an inch in four years so we gave her a nice wash she brought a smile to my face because, you know, on the way back to, uh, from the service station, we took her for a wash. You know, there were multiple people who stopped us and asked us if we are planning to sell the bike. So my plan was to restore her. And finally, that is what I did. So slowly, uh, I started restoring the bike at that time. Um, Unfortunately, I had to move to um, Chennai due to me getting a transfer to Chennai. Uh, and then at that time, the bike 
was neglected so what i did is i gave it to my friend uh, who could use it for a couple of days but you know since there was no paperwork uh, on the bike we had to be very careful so what he would do is he would go from home till office and that was like 1 km and in this 1 km there is no main roads that he would touch he would go through the back roads and finally take it um, to office park it there so i was happy that the bike was you know being used because that would mean that uh, she won't go into the ground immediately and uh, my friend also liked the rx100 a lot so he also you know kind of took care of her to an extent where in you know he did some minor stuff like changing the spark plug getting the chain looped etc so things were nice um when i shot this video this was during the lockdown and look at the crowd you know there is literally a traffic block here and this is not you know something that we should take lightly um you know corona is a real thing people are dying uh so stay home as much as you can uh, it's a very bad idea to venture out if you don't need anything uh, i myself am guilty i actually came out to buy a packet of milk which was from a shop which was like 400 500 meters from my house but i took a 3 km detour to actually get that milk so i could make this video because usually when i tell these stories uh i'm usually sitting in front of the bike and telling you the stories and um a lot of you guys don't enjoy that another thing with kerala is look at that ksrtc bus that's on the other side of the road all they do is just you know turn the headlights on and they think that by doing that they have all of a sudden magically increased the width of the road so this is crazy you know especially with these guys uh another thing is kerala is the only state um, where an ambulance gets a pass did you see that activa guy is stopping on the left and then i also moved out so the ambulance got a very clear pass and it went um so this is a great thing about the state which i like i've been to different states and i've never seen such a thing happening so this was an experience for me as well um so anyways so after i came back from chennai uh the bike became little less priority i uh, got a new job where things uh, were not going as per the plan the challenge was uh, it was a startup so i was not financially sound at that time and the the bike was not um, you know priority at that time so what we did is uh, i waited till i got a proper job and uh, once i got that proper job uh, finances improved a bit uh, and then slowly i started restoring this bike along with my friends tiger so that is also a funny story um, my friend actually bought a tiger and it was bought in 1999 and he rode it till about 2007 2008 i believe and that is when he met with an accident uh, old lady who had a double vision was crossing the road and she basically saw two bikes and she stood in the middle so that she could escape from both the bikes but actually it was one bike and my friend had no other option but to uh, trying to swerve her in order to avoid hitting her and in the process he fell down and lost a couple of his tooth plus you know there was some more damage to his face because of which this uh, tiger was um, you know kind of uh, he could never use the tiger again because the family was against and then finally one day he mustered the courage and both of us started restoring our bikes so that is when i also gave it an actual thought that i need to restore my bike before that i um, somewhere in between i got the engine work done um, basically i was not uh, somebody who knew about two strokes bikes i mean two stroke bikes at that time so the mechanic told me that it is sitting on last oversize there is no way you can oversize it any further so he said that we have to put a sleeve and that's what i think we have uh, the bike has been with me for 10 years and trust me i have not opened the cylinder yet 
performs well it has done about 1 lakh kilometer in that 10 years with me and till now it has not um, you know we have not reached a point where we had to rebore this bike so um, you know the engine side was taken care of only thing was cosmetic which was pending on this so that was the time when uh, even small things were not available such as rims spokes and all it was very difficult uh, so what we did is we actually bought used rims for both the bikes and uh, we bought brand new tires then my bike's chassis was not that bad there was no rusting or anything but my friend's chassis was all gone so we actually completely gutted it and got it restored so probably i'll tell you the story of the tiger separately uh, at the same time i also got mine restored so in the rc book it originally had gray color in it so we actually got a tank and side panel painted in uh, hyundai iton gray i also got a fiber front mudguard which i realized was a big mistake because uh, within like 100 150 um, kilometers that mudguard was broken and then I got this uh, you know gladiator not gladiator it is crux crux mudguard which has two holes on the side for the cable guide uh, that is the only difference so I got that I was using that for some time and then uh, the gray tank was the original tank that came with the bike in the year 89 I mean 1989 and uh, that gray tank had a lot of rust inside so ultimately i had to take a plunge i bought the blue tank which is on the bike right now and you know after i got it i was like i wanted to paint it basically but after i saw this color i couldn't do that to this bike because you know the color was so beautiful um, that you know i could not go ahead and paint it in that weird color gray anymore because this was beautiful so finally we got uh, the side panels also painted in the same color uh, though it's a rx100 it looks like an rx135 from the decals but rest everything is 100 uh, the meter is from a 135 because my 100 original rajdoot meter is uh, in safe you know uh, storage Another thing that we did uh, with this bike is we actually uh, got all the cables, everything replaced. The seat was replaced at least four or five times. Uh, there is no modification to the bike as in, you know, there's no porting, nothing done. I also was lucky to buy uh, an RX100 first oversized cylinder uh, for thousand bucks, um, unsleeved. Uh, so that is gonna go on the bike I presently have uh, buffed the engine cover so that buffing has to change and I have to paint it into the original gray color also the forks are buffed so that also need to change I need to change the rims and spokes on this bike because they are from the RXZ and they are, have started rusting uh, other than that uh, the bike doesn't need much of maintenance maybe you know a pair of indicators um, a new accelerator cable because it is kind of getting stuck other than that it is awesome I regularly keep this bike in ship shape I wash it almost every week this is my primary bike which I ride almost every day um, and also you know there was a time when I used to take it to office every day so this is one bike out of all of my bikes in my arsenal that my wife loves actually to come with me on uh, this bike uh, has been very dependable it has not left me stranded anywhere uh, amazing bike amazing pull the sleeve job was amazing so overall this is a bike that i love uh, and i would never sell uh, so this scene is what you guys saw in the starting so this is the guy who jumped in front of us just take a look that's a very long guy but it's a non-venomous rat snake so nothing to worry about but that lady didn't even see it funny anyway so i was saying i'm never gonna sell this so after i rebuilt this bike my cousin uh, did 
asked me if he could have it back uh, so by the time i converted this bike into my name so i just kind of you know dodged that bullet uh, his younger brother also asked me if he could have it so that also i dodged the bullet so looks like they finally got their bikes like uh, anyways my elder brother cannot because uh, he is in qatar right now and for him the priorities has changed i think he's got a splendor right now which he doesn't use of course it is uh, you know kept in his house uh, that's just a point a to point b bike it is not something that he is emotionally attached to um, so yeah that's the story of my rx100 i hope that you enjoyed the story if you did enjoy please like share and subscribe um, sorry for not uploading this video this long because i really didn't have time i am in a new project which is taking a lot of my time so hopefully you did enjoy this video like share and subscribe wait for the next video which is going to come soon hopefully today so thanks a lot have a great day bye bye <laughs>